So we're gonna make a quick video about if it's cheaper to do a DIY modular system or an all-in-one power system with a battery because I made a video yesterday and a lot of people were saying that the unit is too expensive and it's absolutely false if you do the math. And this isn't trying to support that company or any company, but I wanna show you guys the numbers so that you know that usually the all-in-one power systems are much cheaper. And I'm also not trying to support all-in-one systems because there are pros and cons to that versus a modular system. So let's do the numbers. So first, let's make an imaginary system with the same power capabilities as the Titan solar generator. So first, let's say we need a pure sine wave inverter. Let's get the cheapest Chinese one on Amazon. It's $350. Next, we need two 40 amp MPPTs that are capable of 1000 watts for a nominal battery voltage of 24 volts, $400. And that's the cheap, cheap one. That's a Tracer BN. All right, next, let's get a DC to DC charger. Let's get the cheapest one on the market, the Renogy, $188, and you have to wire up the ignition circuit. Um, copper wire, quality OCPD, connectors, fuse box, and that cost is $280. And I don't care if you're making an expensive system or a cheap system, it is always that cost because copper wire is not cheap and nice OCPDs are not cheap. So yeah, $280. Next you need tools, $120, just like $30 for this. $30 for that. I mean, th this stuff adds up quick. So this is a very cheap estimate. Next, we need a step down converter, an automotive cheap one, China, $35. Capacity monitor, the exact same one that they have from Renogy, $100. Now, a two kilowatt hour battery with BMS, let's say the average is around 79 cents per watt hour, but that's lithium iron phosphate. They did change the charge cycle life and it's lighter on the Titan. I'm just trying to ballpark it here, okay? That's gonna be $1,583. If you build it with the cheapest quality components, it's gonna be $3,056. It's already cheaper to buy an all-in-one system just with those. And that doesn't talk about the transfer switch or anything else or building it or the case. Now let's take this estimate and use higher quality components like Victron and Nice Inverters. So first, pure sine wave inverter, $600. These can be upwards of $1,000 for a 3,000 watt continuous. So 600 is still cheap. Okay, I'm gonna expect that you're getting a Victron on sale. Next, um, 40 amp MPPT, but by Victron, um, $640 with the voltage limitation that the Titan has, 640 bucks. Next, $350 for a Sterling or a Red Arc or another battery isolator that is higher quality than the Renogy with you know um, a voltage sensitive relay and so on. Um, copper wire, quality OCPD connectors, $280. Tools, $120. This could easily shoot up to $200 or $300. I spend hundreds of dollars myself on wire and tools. It's crazy. Next step down converter, just a cheap one, $35, capacity monitor, $100. And now a two kilowatt hour battery, let's say we get the Victron one, or like a Simplify, that's gonna be around $2,200 for two kilowatt. We're gonna spend $4,325, and the all-in-one power system by Titan is only $2,900 with that one two kilowatt hour battery pack, and you can scale it. So it is absolutely cheaper to buy an all-in-one system. This also applies to MPP all-in-one systems that do not have the battery, where it has an inverter, a charge controller, an automatic transfer switch. Those are always cheaper as well compared to buying the parts yourself. And even though all-in-one power systems are objectively cheaper, there are downsides, okay? I understand that there's downsides compared to a modular system. If you get the highest quality component, like inverter and transfer switch and stuff like that, of course, you're gonna have some really great stuff. You can swap out parts and each part has a warranty, but I just wanna drive home the point that it is still cheaper to actually buy an all-in-one power system. And yesterday I had like a hundred comments saying that it was expensive. I think people are not accustomed to building systems with lithium or with larger size components, especially with expensive solar charge controllers because those costs can go up very, very quickly. And if you're trying to build a high quality stationary system that will last 10 or 20 years with a large battery bank, you're spending like, you know, 10 to $20,000. Even if you have a grid tie battery backup system, those are not cheap. The LG or the Tesla Powerwall, that is not cheap at all. So those comments really confuse me. I just wanna know where you guys are getting your numbers from. If you guys disagree with something that I said in this video, please write it down below. If you do not agree with the math that I did, any of the estimates, please let me know. I'm also working on another video. This is a Jackery torn apart. 
And yeah, I can't wait to finish this one. But yeah, just a quick update video. Just had to share those numbers. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.